social injustice. So when you hear those words, uh, w w what does that make you think of? What do you think of? With so I mean, with social injustice, that's something that's been obviously a huge issue in America and in Milwaukee, especially. I mean, Milwaukee is is nationally known as the most segregated city in America. Right, all major cities. Yeah, and, and so I mean. You know, when when people are going, oh, it's it's a political thing, or it's a, you know it's a social economic thing. I mean, yeah, it could be, but when it comes down to it, it's it's people not having their basic human rights. They're being treated unfairly, um, whether based on their color of their skin, the gender, or what they identify with. Right. Um, and that's where it's like, I don't care what you believe in. We're all humans, we all bleed red, and we all should stand behind each other wanting what's better for society and for humanity. And if you're gonna be racist or sexist or just, you know, a bigot, it's like, you know, you gotta educate yourself and you gotta start talking to some people where you see these, these you know, injustices that these people have dealt with, you know? You've never been, you know, a white person's never been stopped and by the police and a cop walks up to their window. You know, they're just like, hey, how's it going? Oh, do you have a good day? Oh yeah, here's my license. They don't think about, oh man, I really gotta be careful on what I say, right. how I look, yeah. and how they're gonna react to me they because can. they could shoot me right now. Right. So that's those things where it's like, I think a lot of people just never even put themselves in someone else's shoes to go, damn, somebody is really dealing with these issues right. in their personal life on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's, it's just things like that where, yes, it exists and people just need to educate themselves. They need to be more empathetic. And, and it, it has nothing to do with politics. It has nothing to do with, you know, whether somebody might have had a bad upbringing where, oh, you know, they might be hanging out with gangs or something like that. Everybody has a chance to educate themselves and to, you know, change their ways and to better themselves. You know, even if you did have a bad past or something like that, you at least took it upon yourself to go, you know what, I'm gonna educate myself, I'm not gonna look at people either in a racist way or in a hateful way. I'm gonna, you know, teach that that peace and love and compassion. I mean, I can go on and on about right, it. Right. But yes, to, to, to uh, get you to your point, right yeah, now, I mean, yeah, yeah, to get to, get to your point, yes, social injustice definitely exists. And, and it, you know, obviously black lives do matter and it goes so much deeper when it comes to how children are being treated in America how you know, Asians are pe being treated in America, how Muslims are being treated in America, but so many people are just being you know, stopped from having basic human rights. Yeah. And, and that's where it's like, we gotta start, we gotta start cleaning the streets up yeah. when it comes to all these injustices and showing, yes, all these people matter. And you know, everybody, oh, all lives matter, all lives matter. Yes, you're, what you're saying when you say that is you're agreeing that black lives do matter. Yeah. Muslim lives do matter. Asian lives do matter. Right. Children's lives do matter. Right. And and that's where, yes, you got to stand behind your people, your neighborhood, yeah. and, and go, you know what, things need to change, and we're gonna do it. Yeah. We're gonna do that's it. That's right, yeah, we are gonna do it. And it starts in, in each and every one of us. It starts as an individual, and then you work your way out, you know, from that. But it starts with a mindset. And a, and a heart set, you know, you gotta have a heart for it too, you know, it's, it's just basic human rights, like yeah. you said, like, come on, it's not that, not that complicated, no, really, yeah. when you really break it down. Yeah, like, you don't want to be treated unfairly, yeah. so why treat someone else unfairly? Exactly. And I got family members that are police, I have close friends that are police, and let me tell you what, yes, being a police officer is a tough job, but as a human being, if you see another police officer or just another human mm -hmm. acting unjust, that's where a person in power, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a police officer or a politician, you need to go, hey, I'm gonna check you right now because you're treating this person unfairly, unjustly, and inhumanely. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And speaking of that, what do you think about all the, the, uh, the murals, the social injustice murals that we got popping up in the city at this time. I think it's great. It's putting not only Milwaukee on the map as obviously the arts, mm -hmm. but as showing, hey, Milwaukee is taking a stance. We're showing that we can fight these social injustices. And it again, the community's coming together. You see murals being put together by an artist such as, you know, uh, Chris Burke or Ruben Alcantar, where they're like, they're putting things out on Facebook. Hey, we're gonna do a mural, but we'd love you to come help us. You're part of this community. We wanna hear your stories. We want to have 
It's so when you drive past with your friends and you see that George Floyd mural, you can go, I helped make that. I'm a part of this community and I stand for what that stands for. Right. So, you know, I, I think Milwaukee really starting to protest via art is a great way where you can go, you know what? Yeah, I was out there, you know, marching and the police came through and, and dispersed everyone. But to go, all right, the next day, I went and put a mural up. So now every time somebody drives by it, every time the police drive by it, every time somebody that is filled with hate drives by it, they're gonna keep being reminded that, no, the community's out here, the community's putting up beautiful artwork, and they're also putting up these memorials so we never forget. Right, it's definitely a constant reminder, and that's what we have to do is just constantly remind people until it's embedded in all of our brains, you know, because racism of any kind is not cool. Uh, basic human rights, that's what we have, you know, the basic human rights.